Hi, this is Dorothy Kilty of Raccoon Alley Creations, and I'm doing the Dear Julie Julie November Monthly Challenge, and um, there's quite a few things that we need to do for this challenge. We had to do both a, a page and an embellish embellishment with those items, and then we had to create an embellishment with um, the this list of items here, and one of them is maps. Um, now, um, I have a vintage map from 1962, but I saw this cool fold, and I thought I'd share it with you. So what this is, is this is to send an envelope. Um, in, in World War II, um, in Russia, uh, they, they had trouble sending letters because they didn't have envelopes, they didn't have glue, they didn't have a way of attaching them. So they came up with this idea this really cool idea to send letters. And so it's a fold. And so in my journal, this can be opened up with hidden journaling right here, as you can see that. Now what I did on this, and this didn't work as well on this map page as it does on book pages, but I took scotch tape and I laid it down and, you know, and uh, burnished it really well. And I took, um, um, distressed ink, and I ran over the page while the um, tape was there, and then I pulled the tape off. And so you've got these lighter places to use for journaling. Now, if that's not good enough for journaling, somebody may want to um, glue a piece of paper over this map and things if they want to, that's fine. But the folding technique that they were using in World War II was first you take this corner and you fold it down, okay? And then you're gonna take this corner and fold it down, and you're gonna burnish those really well. Then, with this bottom part, you're gonna fold both of the corners up level with where this is. Now, this one, as you can see, I tore the map, so I just kind of tried to line it up so that this is a 45 degree angle. Then you take this and you lift this top page and you tuck it inside. Now, <coughs> on the blog post where I um, saw this, they, <coughs> I am so sorry. They said that they did send it through the mail, so there's no glue or anything holding this together. But it makes a perfect hidden journaling place in a journal. Now, um, this is a dear Julie Julie, so we have to have um, a digital. So I cut out one of her little digitals to use as a stamp. And then I, I took a couple labels and I wrote to someone special from someone you love um, for, the, for the to and from addressing. And then I have a little bit of, this is a dryer sheet that I've torn here and um, a ribbon and I have inked the edges of this, which you can't really see, but I did do it. So, and I inked over these two so they weren't so plain white. Um, anyway, I thought this was a cool technique for a hidden journaling, and I just wanted to share it with you.